Hi all folks, this is Max from droid2hacks.com and zedomax.com. Today we're going to root our phone. Um, so the first thing you'll need to do is actually uh, connect your phone to your computer I have via the cable. And then, oops, there's me. Go to settings and then uh, applications all right and development and make sure USB debugging is checked on okay all right and uh, you'll have to install uh, you'll probably want to install the Android SDK which uh, will allow you to have all the tools you need so I'll have links to that on my blog post um, so let's go to the next step next if you uh, connect your phone to your computer um, if you haven't installed Motorola drivers it will actually ask you it's in the F drive so just install it if you haven't done it and I believe I haven't installed but I might have uninstalled it so just install it real quick here And once, once that's installed, uh, we'll keep going. So let me install it. We'll be back. Also, you will need Android SDK, I said, like I said earlier. So go to Google, type Android SDK. And if you go to this site, uh, you can download for Windows, Mac, or Linux. Uh, I'm using Windows 7 right now. So download it. And then um, what you can do is I can show you that. Um, you can see... I put it in an easy drive you know easy to remember drive and you can go to SDK folder here like I did and also you'll need the tools directory which uh, we'll be working from but you might have to run the SDK setup.exe or it could be something else for uh, similar for Mac and Linux and you run that and you also need Java if you don't have Java then you'll have to go back here go type Java uh, go to java.com and then it'll ask you to install it free java download that's it and then once you have that ready um, put all these things under SDK folder under C drive so it's easy to work with so the Motorola driver is now uh, installed successfully and now let's go to hardware and go to device manager and uh, don't worry about that. You should actually have a, uh, a uh, um, Motorola device there. So let me go back to uh, my phone here. Oh, I, I turned off my debugging for some reason. And I'm going to turn it back on. should see it show up there we go see Android phone up there oops I show up now nice okay there we go moto composite ADB device if you have that you're all ready to go you got the driver installed so we'll go to the next step now next you'll need a uh, droid to root dot rar this one I'll have links to it. You can get it on uh, the forum XDA and I'll also mirror on my site. So once you download that, um, hopefully you have an unrawing program. Unzip it, okay? And I'm just gonna unzip it to uh, my SDK directory here. I'm gonna unzip it to here and then just void to, okay? See that? Alright, that's where I'm going to extract it. So it's easy to remember, easy to work with. So under SDK, now I have a new directory, Droid2. Actually, let me change this to Droid2. And then I'm going to actually move it out to the SDK directory. Uh, yes. So now you have all these things in Droid2 directory. So let's go to the next step. Next, we're going to go into the command prompt. So hit start. And under search programs files, type CMD. And then we're going to browse 
to the directory where we found it. Um, so go cd slash sdk. That's our SDK tools folder. And then, um, oh, you know what? I put it under Droid 2. Okay. Let me do this again. Let me move the Droid 2 directory. I'll show you. I want it under the tools folder so it's easy to work with. That's the whole point. So let me go back to SDK. I'm going to move. I'm going to uh, move this, cut, and then I'm going to paste it into the tools directory. Paste. There we go. So let's keep going. And then go CD, go back to your command prompt, go to CD tools, and DIR, and you should see a Droid 2 directory. Okay, that's where all your files are, okay? So let's do, let's, let's just do ADB devices, like that. And then what you should see is that the ADB starting, and um, your phone should be detected. You should get something like this. So, and make sure you're, USD debugging is checked on. All right, then we're all ready to go. It can uh, talk to your phone. Okay. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna do ADB push. Okay. And uh, we're gonna do Droid two slash oops, super user APK. Super user APK. Okay, let me find it real quick. Oh, I, I found out what I was doing wrong. I was doing the wrong, the other slash because I was using Linux all the time. Anyway, droid2 slash this way and do uh, super user dot APK like that, right? And also do uh, now the other way slash SD card slash super user dot APK just like that all right and they will push huh it's supposed to push okay hold on um, go back to your phone make sure your USB is in PC mode that's why I couldn't copy so put that in PC mode and then um, now you should be able to wait like five seconds then now you should be able to do it. Uh, do that. Oops. I'll wait a little bit. Try again. There we go. So now it copied it over because uh, I didn't have it in PC mode. Now what we basically did was copy over the superuser.apk, the application file, to uh, to the SD card. All right. Next we're gonna do adb push. Uh, droid2 slash su we're gonna copy the super user file to the same thing again slash SD card slash um, su oh oops I forgot the droid2 because that's the directory so we copy the su file over okay that wasn't too hard and then we're gonna copy the busy box adb push and uh, droid2 slash uh, busybox and then slash SD car slash busybox alright and enter and so we got those three files copied over and then next uh, we're gonna copy the last file we're gonna copy over to the SD car adb push uh, droid2 Slash rage against the machine dash arm five dot bin, and we're gonna copy it to slash data slash local slash tmp. Oops, tmp slash rage against the cage dash arm five dot bin. Same same name. So we got that copied over. And then we're going to get into shell. ADB shell. Alright. And then we're going to go CD data slash local slash TMP. Alright. And then we're going to go chmod 0755 rage against the cage 
dash arm five dot bin. Basically, we're gonna set the permission to 755 for this so we can execute it. So do that. Next, we're gonna uh, run the file. So we do dot slash rage against the cage dash arm five dot bin. And it's gonna basically try to uh, get you super user here, I believe. Um, okay, now it's it's back to prompt. Now we do adb kill. Oops. Oh no, we got kicked out. Now we do adb then uh, kill dash server. This will kill our adb. So do that after you come back to the tools prompt. All right. And then let's do ADB devices again to start it again. And uh, we still don't see it, so there we go. Now we see it. We wait till we see it. And then we'll do ADB. We'll go back to the shell. ADB shell. Do ADB shell. Um, now you see the prompt change from uh, dollar sign to sharp. That means now we have. Uh, I think it's popping up. Uh, now we have super user, pretty much. I believe that's what it is. It's probably what it is. And so now we have to make this permanent. So how do we do that? So we're gonna do mount. Oops. Actually, I'm just gonna copy these commands over. You can just copy and paste from my instructional tutorial on Droid2hex.com. Mount dash. O uh, R W type that in. All right, so that's basically mounting um, mounting the system so you can copy to it. And then we're gonna do uh, this. We're gonna do CP. We're gonna copy the super user .apk to the system um, apps folder. Enter. That worked. And then we're gonna do copy over the SU, that's also the actual super user um, file application, do that. And then we're going to copy over BusyBox, BusyBox basically lets you do, use like uh, common Linux commands, so from copy from there to there, enter. And then we're going to do, um, I'm going to set the permissions for the SU so we can use it. And then we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna set the permissions. Busybox, so we can use it. And then we're gonna uh, we're gonna unmount it. I think this this command is for. So do that. And I'll have all these commands on my site, so you can copy and paste. All right. And then we should do exit. Uh, and your phone is should be now rooted so let's go back to the phone I hope so let me pause real quick so let's go back to the phone here we should see a super user permission app now I hope so I'm crossing my fingers so I see it let me just try pressing it Oh, you know what? You can do it like this. Go back to the screen. Here. Go back go back to the screen. Do ADB shell, all right? And do SU. Oh, still in shell. Okay. Okay, I think it's working. So, if you run the a super user app like I did and you get a blank screen, just reset it. Um, just restart the phone. All right, and then go back to your shell. Uh, do ADB shell. Actually, do ADB devices. Wait until it it uh, detects it. Okay. Hello. I'll be back when it's connected. 
So my phone booted up nicely and uh, after waiting like a minute it's finally uh, I can see it. So just do a B A D B shell, right? And now you got the dollar sign, do S U. And voila. So if you got stuck on that screen earlier, now you got the super user request. Zoom in there and allow. Oh, you know, I didn't do it quick enough. Do it again. And then it'll pop up again and just do allow real quick. Alright. Now, your, uh, when you reboot your phone, you should still get super user every time. So, my phone's been rooted. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to go try and install the Android Wi-Fi Tether. And uh, start getting some free tethering from Verizon. Thank you all. So, see you all later. That's how you root the Droid 2. I'll have full instructions over at my new blog, droid2hacks.com and zetomax.com. So, check that out. And uh, see you all later. Bye.